Okay, everybody, welcome to uh, track two. We have um, Felong Wang here, yep. a core contributor to OpenStack Glance and Zacure Message Service, who is going to talk to us about Zacure Message. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm very pleased to introduce Zacure with you guys. Uh, So first, happy Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, a very short introduce, introduction for myself. Uh, I'm very proud to be a catalyst between open source and customer uh, because I'm from Catalyst, Catalyst IT. Uh, I'm a full-time OpenStack developer. Uh, Daily, I just focus on Gans and Zucker, but uh, I also need to take care about uh, all the components we are running in our public cloud if there is any bug. So you will see I also contribute NOAA, Neutron, Cellmeter. All, all of them are OpenStack components. And why am I here? Uh, Firstly, I like sharing, and uh, secondly, Docker is good, and I like sharing good stuff. So why are you here? You are a developer, so as a developer, you may want to uh, use message service, messaging service to distribute your application, and. Uh, the second reason, maybe you are an operator or advocate, you may want to adopt a messaging service like Zucker in your know, uh, production system. And maybe you are just lost to find the, the, the track one rule. Okay, uh, the agenda for this session, so what is it not, Zucker? and what it is, uh, why Zucker, and uh, the overview architecture of Zucker, and a basic overview for the REST API of Zucker, and some use case of Zucker. Okay, so what's in a name? Uh, Zucker in, in the Mesopotamian, Methodology, uh, Zucker is a messenger uh, of the God scene, and he relays uh, the message to Mantle through his power uh, over their dreams and uh, nightmares. And before Zucker, we use uh, Marconi. A, Marconi is a former name. If you just Google, you will see a lot of uh, yeah, result of, about Marconi. But there are some uh, trademark problem, uh, like uh, you know the, the well-known cases uh, in OpenStack is quantum to neutron. So we also ran into the same problem. So we just renamed it from uh, Marconi to Zucker. Marconi uh, is an uh, Italian inventor, often credited with uh, the invention of radio. So I, I really like Marconi, but uh, yeah, for now, we're using Zucker. So uh, what is not? So firstly, Zucker is not a replacement of uh, RabbitMQ, Qubit, or DRMQ. So initially, when we uh, announced Zucker in open source community, there are lots of questions. And the first question is, why you guys just want to use, um, you know, announce Marconi, Zucker to, re maybe you want to replace the, the message queue using in OpenStack, like uh, RabbitMQ or Qubit. Actually, that's not the case we want to resolve. And uh, we're not a queuing service. 
I would say, animal. Initially, based on the initial design, uh, you know, our uh, statement for, for Zakra is we are a queuing and messaging service, but for now, we are just focused on the, the messages. And it is not a mail service, even though we can send notification by uh, webhook or uh, by email. So basically, Makoni is a messaging service, just messaging service. And uh, a two topic, ah, sorry, two uh, typical use case just uh, request response and uh, publish subscription. So what is Zucker? Uh, basically, Zucker is a multi-tenant messaging service with the support for uh, multi-backend and the protocols. For now, we can support um, MongoDB and Redis as a storage backend. And we can also support um, uh, whiskey, HTTP, and uh, uh, WebSocket as a transport layer. So why Docker? So that's the re reaction, you know, uh, many guys when, when they first hear about Docker, they will say, what, you guys want to just create another wheel for messaging service? Actually, not. So if, if you can't um, really understand the, you know, what Docker is doing, you can just uh, reference the, the SQS of AWS. SQS is simple uh, queue service of AWS. And uh, AWS also has another service named uh, SNS, simple uh, notification service. So basically, uh, Docker is trying to resolve the same problem, like SQS and SNS, but it's open source. So why Docker? So firstly, Docker is open source, and uh, it's, um, you know, has a big tent of OpenStack. And uh, it's easy to use, sorry, it's, it's a typo. Uh, and it's scalable, for easy, and uh, it can be extensible at the storage layer and the transport layer. So why Docker instead of something like SQS? Like I mentioned, SQS is not open source. So that means uh, you can't run your own instance in your system. And uh, why not? Uh, RabbitMQ, ZeroMQ, yes, you can. You can run uh, RabbitMQ, ZeroMQ in your, in your system, but that means you have to, you know, have to handle or take care about um, the HA, uh, deployment, scaling, maintenance. But if you have, a, you know, message service like Zucker, you, you just use it. So here is a, a messaging queue comparison block from, uh, I don't know, Steve. He has some uh, comparison between uh, Marconi, but at that st stage it's named Marconi. Zucker and SQS and uh, Iron MQ, Storm MQ, and Softlayer Message Queue. <coughs> and the result, so basically, here is a, sorry. So, aspects. Uh, He's carrying about so the central connection point, file points, and uh, first in, first out support, and delivery to the first available consumer, 
basic publish subscribe support and uh, push message support. So finally, you can see, uh, we can have a quick look for the result. As Q has got uh, eight, RMQ got uh, 12, Storm got, uh, sorry, zero. Uh, soft layer got seven. Actually, uh, Makuni got 12, but uh, because there is a penalty for uh, needing specific software, there is a minus file, but I would argue it is not really true because uh, for Docker, you can just deploy it without any other open source components. So, so I'm, I'm not sure if the guy you know, understand uh, you know, the, the requirements for Docker, but I would say for Docker, you can, if you want to leverage the authentication uh, system for OpenStack, maybe you need also deploy Keystone. Keystone is the authentication service of OpenStack. Otherwise, if you just want to use Docker, you don't need any other OpenStack components. You can just deploy Docker. Yeah, so, so hopefully um, that block can give you um, basic understanding for, for Zucker. And uh, what is the advanced feature we are providing? So firstly, we can support horizontally scalable. And uh, we can support message delivery guaranteed, but um, it depends on the, the backend storage. And we can also support uh, notifications. For notification, we, for now, uh, we support web, uh, webhook and uh, email. And uh, Docker is very operation friendly. We have two uh, REST API endpoints. One is ping. Ping means uh, you can access the ping uh, endpoint, it will return 204 if Docker is running very well, or just return uh, 503, maybe there are some, uh, sorry, wrong uh, error. And uh, you can just use uh, another more detailed uh, endpoint named health. Health will, will return a lot of information about like, uh, if, if the server is reachable uh, for each um, action, for example, for create a queue, delete a queue, post a message, how many times it will need based on current, uh, you know, the, the system status. So it's very, very helpful for, for the operator. And uh, the architecture. So this is a basic uh, architecture of Docker. So you can see for now, uh, we have two, two layers. The first layer is uh, uh, the storage layer. For now, we can support uh, MongoDB driver and uh, Redis driver at the, the storage backend. And uh, at the storage layer, Actually, we have two layers because we can support pools. For pools means uh, you can you can create one pool just for just for MongoDB, and you can create another pool uh, for Redis. And uh, we have uh, another like uh, abstract layer that is a control plane. So when you create a queue, um, the, man the control plane will decide uh, which pool you can use. 
for example, uh, you can you can give the pool a, a weight, a higher weight will uh, be picked uh, first. And uh, for now, at the the control plane layer, I mean uh, the management layer, we can support MongoDB driver, uh, Circle Alchemy driver, and uh, Redis driver. And for the trans for the transport layer. Now there are two drivers. One is uh, HTTP, and the other one is a uh, web socket. So it's very friendly for the web socket. It's very friendly for those, um, you know, the app uh, application developer. And uh, about that, uh, you can deploy HA proxy or uh, load balancer and rate limiter uh, in front of the Zucker service. And uh, before that, just uh, the client, uh, Docker client, to access Docker service. So the, the architecture. The so architecture basically, like I mentioned, uh, about just transport and storage. So it's very, very lightweight. And as a transport, we support HTTP WebSocket. Storage is uh, MongoDB and Redis. So the, the REST API. Now we have uh, three types REST API. So the first type is the public API. Public API means um, all the end user can access the public API. And for the admin API means uh, they only can be accessed by uh, the administrator or operators <coughs> and the operation API. So for the public API is very, very uh, straightforward. You can see we have uh, messages. So you can just put, uh, post messages for a queue or just get message, delete message and uh, we also support subscriptions. Subscriptions means you can subscribe a queue, and uh, when there is a message post for the queue, the subscriber of the, you know of the queue will be notified. So, uh, for this, uh, it basically um, can match the same uh, function of AWS SNS. So that's. That basically means uh, we are using one service to cover the both uh, use case of uh, SQIs and SNS. So we, we didn't create two services. So there are some two endpoints. And Claims. Claims means uh, you can claim some messages. Claims uh, means uh, if the message is claimed, then there is no other worker, you know, uh, can use, can consume the message. And it's queues. So, like I mentioned about, uh, initially queue is a, is a first class system in Zucker world, but for now, queue is not really necessary. Because uh, if you just post message to a queue and the queue doesn't exist, we can create it in lazy. So it's not really necessary. You can just focus on message. And admin API. So for admin API, there are two endpoints. The first one is pools. Like I mentioned, for pool, you can just uh, Get an easily get the horizontally scalable, so you can create many pool, and uh, you can just uh, give a weight for the pool. So there is some uh, a simple uh, algorithm to schedule the request for the queue to the right pool, and the flavors. Flavors means um, you can. You can define some flavor based on the the capability of the pool. For example, you can 
you can define a, a fast storage pool, and you can define a durable storage pool. So when you define a flavors, for example, I just define as an admin, I just define um, a fast storage pool based on, based on, for example, Redis, based on Redis pool. So as an end user, then I can create a new queue based on the flavor because I just want to use the fast storage. I just care about the performance. So you can create a queue based on the flavor. And the, the operation API. Operation API, yeah, like I mentioned, we can support ping and health. Ping is very simple, but for health, we can support very detailed status of the, you know, the Docker service. For example, you can see uh, if the storage is reachable. Now I have uh, two pools. The first pool is pool Redis. And you can see it will give the status what, you know, how many times to, to post message, how many times, uh, I mean, you need to consume to delete message, delete queue, and it will return all the pools you're, you're using in your Docker service. And also if the catalog, catalog actually is uh, the, the control plane, is reachable or not. So it's, it's very, very useful for the, for the operators. Okay, uh, the use case. So like I mentioned, the use case of Zucker is trying to resolve is, the first one is messaging. So Zucker is a messaging service for sure. And uh, notifications. For notification, uh, in, in this release, we just support um, email, as a, I mean, email as a notification. And we support a web, web hook in the previous release. And intercloud. Intercloud means um, the other components of the cloud can consume uh, the, the messaging service. For now, uh, heat, heat is the orchestration uh, service of uh, OpenStack, is trying to integrate with Zucker. And Swift, Swift is uh, the object storage of Zucker. Uh, of OpenStack is also uh, trying to leverage uh, Docker as a notification uh, middleware. And the user facing. User facing, uh, there are some discussion in OpenStack community trying to, uh, <coughs> to use Docker to send the, some task status to end user, to the, to end user of the cloud. This is another use, uh, use case. So for now, uh, a lab demo. I would like to give us a, a lab demo of Zucker. So, firstly, if you um, if you want to use uh, the notification, you will need a queue. If you don't care about notification, you actually you don't have to create a queue. But for now, I want to demo the, the, the notification, so I need to create a queue. This name is Kiwi.
So it just okay. If the queue is created successfully, it will just return a uh, 201. And for now, we need to create a subscription. So the subscriptions uh, post model is very simple. You just need to specify the subscriber. But now I just want to demo the the, the web socket uh, web hook. <coughs> I need to specify the port. This is the TTL options. Yeah, so we just create a subscription for the new queue and we can I'm looking for some messages to post. So uh, I just post those messages. And uh, you will see I'm running a, a local simple server. This is the messages. Uh, the notification, the message, when, when you post the messages, uh, the message will be saved in the, the backend, third backend, and the meanwhile, the message will be, be sent to the subscriber. So uh, for now, I just use a, a webhook subscriber. So the webhook is a, just a simple web server, HTTP server running in local. So you can see uh, the web server just received uh, the message from uh, Zucker. Yeah, that's it. And uh, here is the uh, uh, GitHub location of Zucker. So you can just access and git go. Thank you. So still don't ask me too hard questions. <laughs> so we've got time for just a couple of questions. Is it hard? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, um, one big potential of something like Zakar is that is that we can stop uh, polling for, for for things happening in our in our cloud um, with the with the WebSocket um, endpoint. Um, it's great that we can just, you know, block on it and wait for something to happen and then pick that up and do it immediately. 
is, is, but is, is the implementation just pushing the polling further down, or, or can it be event driven all the way? From the you mean the web socket or the, the notification webhook uh, support? Just the, the whatever, whatever mechanism there is to, to um, get messages without constantly polling. Actually, if you just use uh, the notifications, that means you don't need to pull. Okay, I'm afraid we're out of time, so if you could join me in thanking Fei Long once more for that talk. Thank you. Thank you.